Now let's practice the panel combo rotate and all panel sample base data interrogation. So to do this we're going to go to WFO scale and under the KCRI menu let's load the all tilts base data. So this is going to load a four panel with products on side A and side B of this four panel can zoom in a little bit here. I'm going to hit the dot on the keypad to toggle over. I've got reflectivity in the upper left, ZDR in the upper right, correlation coefficient in the lower right, and then KDP in the lower left. Now I'm going to hit the up arrow to go to 0 0.5 degrees and we're going to zoom in on our supercells close to the radar. And let's apply the panel combo rotate and all panel sample to uh, tornado debris signature detection with this very large tornado at close range to this radar. This is the largest, widest tornado on record in terms of damage path width. Uh, so this is a pretty historic event. It's a good event to practice using the TDS detection techniques using panel combo rotate. So I'm going to hit the dot key on the keypad again. We've got reflectivity on the first panel side. Side A is going to be reflectivity again on the upper left. ZDR upper right, correlation lower right, and KDP on the lower left. Now when I hit the delete key above the up and down arrows, it's going to jump into rotate mode. It's going to zoom in to that first side, side A, and that first panel is reflectivity. Every time I hit the delete key above the up arrow, it's going to cycle to the next, uh, the, the next available panel on that four panel on side A. There's ZDR, there's correlation coefficient, there's KDP, and then if I keep hitting the delete key, it's going to go to side B on the upper left, which was SRM, then base velocity, spectrum width, and then hydroclass. If I hit delete again, it's going to cycle around. So basically, we're cycling through all eight of those loaded images that is uh, two paired four panels. So if we want to use the keyboard shortcuts we can use the one through nine buttons on the upper left part of the keyboard. Here we have one to go to reflectivity. If I hit the two key it's going to go to ZDR. Three goes to the lower right which is correlation. Four lower left KDP. Five is side B upper left panel SRM. 6 is upper right panel base velocity, 7 lower right spectrum width, and 8 is lower left hydroclass. So these keyboard shortcuts are really handy because a lot of times we'll do a lot of reflectivity relative product toggling. So let's hit a 1 key to go to the reflectivity. Then let's go do a 1, 2 and we can toggle between reflectivity and ZDR. If we go 1, 3 We'll go between reflectivity and correlation coefficient. So I believe the 5 key is SRM. So if we toggle between reflectivity 1 and SRM 5, you can see there's a little weakness in reflectivity, maybe slight hints of an eye uh, with the tornado and, and the leftover meso remnants with this uh, tornadic circulation. Now when we want to look for a tornado debris signature, we first go to the strong localized velocity signature like we have here and then we're going to toggle over to correlation coefficient which is the 3 button. So again if we go back and forth between velocity SRM on 5 and KD, uh, the correlation coefficient on 3, go 5, 3, then we see that they're very well correlated and so when we also look at the low correlation coefficient we want to look at reflectivity so we hit the one key we see that these are still very strong reflectivities 40 dBZ the one key three key correlations of 0.6 which are extremely low and then five it's right in that velocity signature so this really helps us be able to compare uh, different panels in flexible ways with keyboard shortcuts. We can also go to the velocity signature and if we right click on the background we can turn on the all panel sample which will give us the values for all of the panels that are loaded at one location. This is really important again for 
trying to look at the hydrometeor phase. We have to find the location of the velocity couplet. We have to look at the reflectivity. It needs to be high reflectivity. If it's low reflectivity, then a lot of squirrely things can happen with the dual pull variables. So 45 dBz is strong reflectivity. Correlation coefficients less than 0.9. You know, these are strong evidence, 0.7 strong evidence for uh, debris, not precipitation, nor hail. Uh, the other values uh, in their ZDR is close to zero, and that's fairly common with uh, tornado debris signatures. So you can see the all-panel sample really lends itself to analyzing base data and dual pole variables together, and then the panel combo rotate allows us to do keyboard shortcuts to have zoomed in views of, of these kind of multiple images. Now to get out of the uh, panel combo rotate we just hit the end button above the arrows on the keypad and that returns us to four panel mode. And we can go back to hitting the dot key on the keypad to kind of toggle uh, between these and, and do sampling and kind of comparisons uh, between products on this four panel. So that's an introduction to Panel Combo Rotate and All Panel Sample.